Exploring, in one salad days, unraveling the phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a very intriguing phrase, in one salad days. This phrase might sound a bit odd at first, but it's rich in meaning and history. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means, where it comes from, and how to use it in your own conversations. So, let's get started. The phrase, in one salad days, refers to a time of youth, inexperience, or the period of one's life when one is young and lacks judgment. It's often used to describe the enthusiasm and idealism of youth but can also hint at the naivety and inexperience that come with being young. Think of it as a way to nostalgically refer to the green or fresh times of youth, much like the freshness of a salad. This phrase was popularized by none other than William Shakespeare in his play, Antony and Cleopatra. Cleopatra uses it to reflect on her youthful affair with Julius Caesar, saying, My salad days, when I was green in judgment, cold in blood, this origin highlights the dual nature of youth, characterized by both vibrancy and immaturity. Now that you know what it means and where it comes from, let's talk about how to use in one salad days in everyday conversations. This phrase is perfect for reminiscing about younger years or discussing the growth and mistakes of youth. For example, you might say, in my salad days, I made decisions based more on passion than logic. Or, she's in her salad days, full of energy and new ideas. While, in one's salad days, might sound a bit literary or old-fashioned, it's still relevant in modern English especially in formal or literary contexts. It's a beautiful way to evoke the vibrancy and folly of youth, adding a touch of sophistication to your speech or writing. Thank you for joining me today as we explored the phrase, in one salad days. I hope this video has enriched your understanding of the English language and added a new expression to your vocabulary. Remember, Language is not just a tool for communication but a bridge to history and culture. Keep learning, and don't forget to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Until next time, happy learning!